Chapter 11, The Hidden in Plain Sight. All right, there's our tower. You really think all that treasure's gonna be just sitting in the middle of a goddamn market? Oh, yeah, that'd be crazy. But we've seen crazy before. That we have. Whoa. Hey, attention. Kiss me. Excuse me. Thank you. Oh, I can go in here. What's in here? Nothing. Okay. Excuse me. I wasn't trying to cut you, I'm just trying to go through. Jeez. Calm your tatas. <gasps> oh, how cute. Hey, guys. Seen any uh, pirate treasure around here? Hey. Hey. Sorry. He's so impatient. Oh, hell. I am sorry. I, here, let me help you. My mistake. I apologize for my friend. I haven't fed him in a while. Take care. You see the way she looked at me? <laughs> you are delusional. <laughs> Why don't you invite her back for some spicy bread? No, thanks, but okay, fine, fine. Best apples in the market. Thank you very much, sir. Enjoy your apples and tell your friends. Wait, what is that? Hey there, little guy. How you doing? Hey, you like that? Huh? Nate, tower. Sully, come on, it's a, it's a lemur. Come on, come say hi. That's all right. <laughs> So cute. so cute. Whoa! Hey! Oh. Hey, Sully! Hey! He stole my apple! <laughs> Don't faint the animal. That's cute. You know what? After this is over and done with, I'm gonna get a dog. Hey, we come out of this in one piece, I'll buy you the damn dog. Can I name it Victor? <laughs> <laughs> Can we get a cat instead? Cats are cute. Want me to buy you one of these? Sully, you gotta be crazy to wear a shirt like that. Ah, crazy <laughs> handsome. <laughs> I want that shirt. Can I have it? Can I buy it? I guess not. <laughs> oh, man. Something smells really good. Mm, he's right. It does smell good. The groom. Uh, is there anything else I can buy? I guess not. Hey, here we go. Locked. I guess we're gonna have to sneak in. Discreetly. Implied by the use of the word sneak. So. Is there a way through here? Window open. Hey, Sully. I think we can squeeze through here. That'll work. Jesus. Long way down. You okay back there? You keep your pace. I'll keep mine. Yeah, well, at least you got a great view, right? Very true. Oh, my God. I wanna see this view. Guess I can't really see it, <laughs> but it's pretty. Okay, let's see what we got. Edward England's sigil, just like the map said. So what are we looking for? Good question. Hmm. Let's go over here. Tall clock tower. Yes, yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Now, what do you bet? with a 
future. <laughs> the Zodiac says. Look, there's Leo. Ah, and Taurus. Four signs. Uh, four bells, way up there. And these things in the middle of the floor look like locks. Got it. Let's go ring some bells. This is definitely the place. Call Sam. On it. Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus. Voicemail. Well, then. Hey, Sam. Looks like we're at the right tower. Call us. They don't have the best coverage in this city. Well, no reason to wait. Right, I think. <laughs> okay, I was doing it completely wrong. I'll be right back. I feel This. I really okay. think oh I kind of never remember ah. this. Oh, let's go. I'll be damned. Check it out, Sully. The clock still works. Yeah, I noticed. I try not to get tangled in those gears up there. You bet. Okay, so it told me to look at the book. So one is Scorpio, two Aquarius, three. Leo and four Taurus. Statues appeared in this order. So first I think will be Scorpio. your fingers, Nate. Can I be nervous? <laughs> no, good. Trust me. Where have I heard that before? <laughs> okay, this one... I think this one's... Wait, what? I'm confused. Okay. It's Leo, I think. So... Scorpio. So, oh, let's see this Scorpio. one. Scorpio. That Avery was a Scorpio. Ah, okay, that is really loud. Yeah, I bet. Hey, that did the trick. The Scorpio lock just released. Okay, moving on to the next one. Okay, what's next? Aquarius. Where would Aquarius be? Oh, I see it right there. Okay. Aquarius, right? Just making sure, okay. Aquarius? Always nice people. Which was back over here, I think. 
This is Leo, right? <laughs> I'm just making sure. Okay. Leo. I dated a Leo once. <laughs> yep. Leo is unlocked. Okay, one left. Taurus, which is what I am. to start over again. No, I do not. Oh, there's something right there. Remember this? Oh my God! I think. Am I supposed to move these? Ah, here we go. There we go. Oh no 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 no! Okay. to get in there now is the question. Mm. I sure hope you're doing okay out there, Sam. Oh. 
It's only here. <laughs> okay, Sully, I made it. This is gonna be loud. Oh. Uh, Sully, heads up! Sorry, the handle broke. Bring it myself. Okay, here we go. Uh, uh, here we go. Sally? Oh, shit. <laughs> At least I got the door open, though, huh? <laughs> That's one Kinda. way to do it. You all right? All right. <laughs> hey, look. The coin. You want it? <laughs> yeah, sure. Why not? See what's down here. Fingers crossed for piles of gold and jewels. Sam, finally, you okay? Just search my town. I, I got nothing. Yeah? No. We're definitely in the right place. Make your way over here. Are you serious? Uh, okay, I'm on my way. He's coming. Good. Sully, way ahead of you. <laughs> Ooh. Whoa. Hey, are those our boys? Yep. Henry Avery, Thomas too. Partners in crime. Okie dokie. What's this for? Founders. Founders of what? Worst scavenger hunt ever? <laughs> There are Avery and two sigils. These are a little different, though. Yeah, they got those star patterns on them. They turn, but which way are they supposed to go? Whoa. Okay. Should we go look? Yeah, d just a second. More pirate symbols. Adam Baldridge, Anne Bonnie, and uh, Christopher Condent. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> there's, there's too many permutations. I say we see where that door leads. Still hoping for some treasure, yeah? Hey, look, I was right. Baldridge, Bonnie, and Condent. Blended. Why are they here in the first place? Well, let's find out. Wow, that mustache. It's almost as impressive as yours. Huh, it's all right. Says. Hey, look at these stars. They're just like the ones on the Avery and Two sigils in the other room. Yeah, you're right. Ah, uh, that's right. Content went by Billy One Hand. Guess he had one made. Here's another one of those star patterns. Yeah, but this one's different than that first one. Oh, yeah. Good catch. Thank you. See, I'm not just a pretty face. What do you think? Those Avery and Two sigils. The stars on those lined up, remember? That D's line up, too. Hmm. Um... Uh, 
this. I'm gonna go right there. This one, maybe right, right there. <laughs> and then this one, right there. Nope. I think it's like that. <laughs> I hope. Um, okay. Let's try that. You don't know, do you? Hey, there were a lot of pirates out there, you know? So we're stuck. No, we're not stuck. Would you give me your phone. What, you're gonna phone a friend? Close. Text a brother. Oh my god. <laughs> there. You know, these are actually some nice paintings. If we don't find the treasure, maybe we could sell them to a museum. Let's find those star patterns. Okay, just saying. William Mays. American? Yeah, from Rhode Island. Just like Thomas, too. Um, oh, there it is. Here we go. Hey, you still in the tower? Yeah, I just, uh, climbed back down. What's with the picture you just sent? I'll fill you in later. For now, just tell me who's who. Well, the, the dolphins are Richard Warren, the trident is Joseph Farrell, and the two hands with the pearl is William Mays. All right, great. Just stay where there's good reception. I might need your help again. Uh, Nathan, did you find the treasure? No, not yet. But I got a mechanism to solve here. I'll let you know. Books, right. globe. This Want guy looks like a scholar. Hey, Richard Want. He was the captain of the Dolphin. Whew. Looks like he and Baldridge were in a best wig competition. Hey, Sully, give me a hand. You got it. Thanks. Is it straight? Who the hell cares? Well, I care. This one's there. Right there. God, look at Farrell's face. Looks like he'd rather be anywhere else. All right. Oops. Um. Holy crap. Mm. Like that, maybe. I think I think like that I'm not very good with puzzles you guys <laughs> I'm trying my best all right let's see how they look Try to remember. Is that all right? <laughs> Okay. <sighs> so what do we have here? 
Uh, you know, I'm honestly shocked you don't know this stuff. Don't. I, I do. I just want to make sure Sam knows. You know, because he likes to feel useful. That's all. Aha. Uh -huh. Of course. <laughs> Shit. What happened here? A uh, torch probably fell or something. Come on, let's see what's left. I don't recognize this guy. Looks a lot younger than the other pirates. Oh, Sam texted me back. Now, ah, see there, Sully? Turns out Sam doesn't know everything either. Gloating is unseemly. Yeah, I know. Let's just look at the paintings. Huh. No name. This guy's get-up looks Moorish. Huh. Yazid al-Basra. Looks Indian. Close. Muggle. Wait, aren't the Muggles the ones Avery robbed? Honor among thieves. <laughs> yeah, like that's ever the case. Edward England. Stout little fellow. Okay, I think that's it. I'm gonna do this one now. Okay. All right, I got the names of two of them. Oops. Should still be able to figure this out. Um. How am I supposed to figure this out, you guys? <laughs> How? This one seems to go here. Okay, this one fits here. And then... That one fits there. And then this fits there. Hmm. I'm gonna have to keep checking this. sure yet maybe send it to Sam really hey you're the one who said he's the pirate expert just <laughs> saying okay that's one and two last one all right let's see what he makes of them you know that kind of looks on What are you doing? You just took pictures. Hold that. You know, Avery's recruits wouldn't have had smartphones, obviously. Obviously. So this would have been the only way for them to get to the next clue. <laughs> These are clues. Yeah, let me see. Voila. <laughs> oh. All right, these could be trade winds. Yeah, and these look like latitudes. Yeah. And so I would guess that we are packing our bags again, Boyle. What? Prodeus quod licentia. Oh, no, it can't be. Can't be what? Oh, my God, it's so obvious. Nate. Why didn't I see this before? Jesus, enough of the beautiful mind shit. What the hell are you talking just, just, about? Hang on. Sam, did you get the photos? <laughs> Here I am, a 
calling what I thought was Sullivan's phone, and look who picks up. How you been, Nate? Hey, Rafe. <laughs> been a long time. How did you get this number? Sullivan leave it on a cocktail napkin? <laughs> I wish. That only would have cost me a few shots of rum, right? No, no, I had to pay top dollar to find you guys. Yeah. I hope you didn't spend too much on this whole Avery thing. I hear the competition's fierce. Yeah, you pulled off some clever moves there. But in the end, all that matters is who gets to Avery's treasure first. <laughs> well, that sounds like a bet. Hey, Nate, you know I'm always game, but my partner, well, she prefers to mitigate unnecessary risks. Wow, Rafe Adler, taking orders from somebody else. Oh, how times have changed. Look, Nate, I'm gonna make you a one-time offer here. You drop everything. Go home, live your life. I'm willing to forgive and forget, for old times' sake. As tempting as that sounds, Rafe. I gotta say, I'm not normally the kind of guy who likes to quit while he's ahead. Okay. Rodeus quo licentia, for God and liberty. These are nice pictures, Nate. Good composition. You hacked our phones. You stole my cross. Listen, Nate. If you're half as smart as you think you are, you'll accept my offer. Listen, as nice as it's been to catch up with you, I really got to take this call, so... Well, Nate, one more thing. Nate! What? You, uh, you do realize that your phones are equipped with GPS, right? I'll see you soon, buddy. Shit. Let me guess. Goons with guns on their way here now. Sam, for God and liberty, Nathan, do you understand what this means? Sam, listen to me. Get off the streets right now and destroy your phone. What's going on? Rafe knows where we are. 